You have to be special to survive in South America's highest mountains. The higher you go, the less oxygen there is to breathe. South America's high hummers, the hill stars, helmet crests, metal tails and thornbills have a daily struggle to survive. How have these tiny birds adapted to these harsh conditions? You can see the blue-mantled thornbill whilst hiking the Inca Trail. Its short bill means it can more easily pick off protein-rich insects. The buffy helmet crest has an even shorter bill. This little fella is only found on the Columbian Paramo. At 4,500 metres, it's a habitat that's cold and wet. In the worst of weathers, he still has to feed, clinging onto the flowers to take their nectar. He doesn't waste energy hovering like his low altitude cousins. The borderlands between Argentina and Bolivia is the home of the rare wedge tailed hill star. Look at those huge feet, perfect for clinging onto flowers whilst it feeds. Easier to find is the giant hummingbird. Its size alone gives it an advantage in the high tops and long wings mean it uses less energy when it flies. Flowers at high altitudes are more spread out compared to those in a tropical forest, so to find them, the hummers have to fly further. The metal tails seek out red flowers with the highest sugar content, and the long wings of the Ecuadorian hill star make flying more efficient. This tiny bird has made its home on the slopes of the snow-capped Chimborazo volcano. Despite being on the equator, temperatures at 5,000 metres drop to minus 20 at night. There are no insects here to pollinate the flowers, so that's a job for our hill star. He has to spend long periods sheltering on the ground, flying for just a few minutes before resting again. When freezing mist sweeps over the volcano, he goes into a self-induced sleep, slowing down his normal Ferrari metabolism to that of a snail. It's the only way to survive the night. High Hummers, champions of the high tops. <laughs>